yes, I'm driving, but I am not going to look at the camera. But I wanted to make sure that I recorded this uh, anxiety feeling. Um, I have to go in for an HSG today. And I've been trying to get it done in Germany, but um, a lot of the different clinics don't offer it or they offer the wrong one. Um, and it has to be done during a certain part of your cycle. Um, so my husband called a university clinic today and they said at the very last minute at 9.30 in the morning that they could fit me in at 10.30. So um, I am heading over there. I think I'm being a little bit of a wimp about all of this because it's probably no big deal. Um, but what, from what I've read online, they say that it uh, can be a little painful and I just always thought that Christopher would come with me. Um, but doing it by myself um, and this is kind of the first step uh, of this whole process, getting it done so that we can start the egg retrieval process. So wish me luck. Hope it goes well, um, and I will keep you posted. I don't know why this is so hard. Um, so I just had my HSG done, and the doctor told me that... train heading to get uh, my second screening done at HSG, which is a hysterosal disinogram. It's a lot. Um, I wanted to be as transparent as possible with this. I uh, I don't know what you could say. I'm not, I'm not scared or nervous, but I have some anxiety about it. I did one in Germany. Uh, my physicians here the think that it back. might have been a false positive, which would mean that my fallopian tubes are completely closed or blocked. Um, so I'm having the screening done again, but it's not the most comfortable test and I'm not looking forward to doing it again, but I am looking forward to really having a decisive um, opinion on whether I have blocked fallopian tubes, whether I don't, um, if there are any other issues. Um, sorry for the metro audio, um, but I wanted to catch this while I still have my, my real emotions about it. So, fingers crossed uh, that it goes well, and um, I will let you know about my second experience, um, but my first time here at Shady Grove. All right, I am back on again, and I just want to say how relieved I am. And this is not an easy process, even just starting in the beginning, and I can't imagine what it's like for women who have gone through this for years, who have lost children, um, and it's so important that you are with a group of people that make you feel comfortable. And I am so grateful that I feel that way now, and with people who want to help and who are on your side and on your team. So, next chapter. I am outside of the testing center. I just had my HSG done, and I cannot tell you how much more of a pleasant experience it was. Uh, I don't know if it's the bedside manner, it's the manner in which people do it, but um, in Germany when I had this done, they literally make you strip completely naked, basically, sit in a room full of people, do this, there's no talking you through it, explaining what the process is, it's just lay back, put your feet up, uh, put a speculum in there, do the business, and then they literally told me, okay, your fallopian tubes are closed, uh, you probably wouldn't have been able to have children naturally, so good thing you're doing IVF, have a great life. Um, here, <laughs> it was 
sorry for the alarm in the background. Um, just lovely from checking in to the nurse who helped me get dressed and went over my consent forms. Take a pause. <laughs> Um, and then the, the two physicians that helped me during the actual exam, it just was absolutely different. The pain level, I would say, is about 50% of what I experienced. It was relatively painful, and I have a, a high threshold for pain, but the one I did in Germany, very painful. And here, it was a little bit of mild cramping, but nothing more than a period cramp or something like that. So, um, not the best news though, as my results, um, my right tube is not blocked, which my doctors in Germany told me that it was, but my left tube looks like it may be blocked, which is fine if you're going through IVF from what I've been told because they don't use your tubes. Um, they only test them to see if there are other ancillary issues. So I'm waiting to talk to Dr. Devine, um, at Shady Grove in DC and I'm just feeling so much better. We have a definitive answer now. I trust that they have done the test correctly, that we have a right answer. And it makes me very sad though, that if I had not had this test done again, and maybe I wasn't going through the IVF process, that a doctor would have just shooed me away and essentially told me that I was unable to have children. Um, instead of doing some follow-up testing or checking again, um, just, no bedside manner, no warmth to them, but I instantly felt comfortable here. The office you walk in, it's pristine and just a very calming sort of place with nice people. And when you're going through this, no matter how confident you are, um, no matter how seamless and easy you think it's going to be, it's emotional and it's hard. And I mean, it's kind of gross. Right now I have liquid leaking out of me, this dye that they check um, your fallopian tubes with, but I feel good. I feel really good. And um, I'm really happy to be working with Shady Grove here. I feel like they're capable and I am in good hands. So I'm excited. On to the next step.